welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be a live acoustic version of The Rising from Springsteen on Broadway. Thanks very much to subscribe star Kevin Mulvena for the request. Hello and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're gonna do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so let's take a look at the tuning first. So in another video I've done, uh, Tougher Than The Rest live acoustic version, it uses this awesome open tuning, which is C, G, D, 
and then G, B and D. So it's basically like a G chord with a C in the root note. So click on the card above if you want to check that one out. And this is a slight variation on that tuning where basically you take all those notes and you go down a semitone, which is equivalent to one fret on the guitar. Um, okay, so what, we, what you'd have is a B, okay, and then in, uh, on the low sixth string, um, the B there, and then an F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. Okay, so let's just gonna do that again. So B, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Okay, and always gonna put a cap on the fifth fret. Okay, so what I would do is say if you've got a tuner like this or just using your standard chromatic tuner, um, click on the tuner and make sure that this is gonna be an E. And then the next note is gonna be a B. Okay, the next note is gonna be an F sharp. The next note is gonna be a, a B. The next note is gonna be a D sharp and an F sharp. So this is basically, with the cap on, it's like doing a, a B chord with an E. It creates some really nice sounding chord voicings. Cool, so that's the tuning. Again, it's a little bit fiddly, but again, if you wanted to sort of practice this song and tougher than the rest, you can kind of get a couple of songs with the same tuning, just say, sort of tuning back and forth. There's only a slight alteration from that tougher than the rest CGD, GBD tuning. Okay, cool, so this song is in the key of B major. Now the tempo sort of starts off slowly and picks up and then um, in sort of the third and fourth verse, he changes the tempo and the velot velocity that he's playing at. But roughly, the uh, majority of this song is in 110 BPM, or around that area, okay? So let's take a look at the chords first, okay? So these are the chord names with the capo on and, and the funny tuning. So kind of some interesting chord names, but really nice chords. So what you've got to start with, the B add 9 over S sharp. Okay, and this looks like an A minor seven shape if you're familiar with that normal chord in standard tuning. Um, so we're gonna do open A string, and then second fret uh, D, open G, first finger, first fret B, and then open E string. So that's a B add nine over F sharp, okay? Now what you've also got is a B add nine where you play all six strings. Just, just sounds amazing, I think. Cool, then we've got an F sharp five power chord that he uses a lot. Which is just your little finger on the third fret of the B string. And he also plays an F sharp from time to time as well. So that's just basically all the strings from the A string. Nice, easy one there. We've also got a C sharp five chord. Now, Bruce kind of does it with his thumb. I like to do it with my first, second, uh, third, or first, second, and fourth fingers. Because a thumb can cause problems, I think, sometimes. But again, Bruce does it a lot, and obviously it sounds great. So uh, you can either use the thumb on the second fret of the low E, or your first finger, second fret low E, uh, sixth string, and middle finger, second fret G, little finger, or third finger, third fret. Um, uh, this looks like a D over F sharp chord. Um, it's a really awesome chord. Uh, so he uses this in kind of the break sections in the middle eight. So that's C sharp five. Okay, and then you also got an F sharp sus two chord, which is basically keeping those two fingers there and then just strumming from the A string. So that's F sus two. Okay, and then you also got a D sharp minus seven, which he uses a really nice chord that he uses in the middle eight section. So middle or third fingers will be fine. Block the A string out. Really nice chord there. So that's D sharp minus seven. And we've also got in the middle eight and the outro, I think, is a B major seven chord, which is basically blocking out. It's basically this string here, because you're picking uh, open E string, second fret D, open G, open B, uh, and that's a B major seven chord. Cool. You've also got a B, just a standard B chord. You just play the D, G, and the B strings, and then you open and the open E string as well. Cool, so um, really, again, not complex chords to play, but they sound a bit weird, but they, um, sort of the actual wordings of the chords sound a bit weird, but um, really awesome chords with this tuning. Okay, cool, so let's take a look at the intro 
the main verses and uh, the chorus sections. Okay, so the intro is kind of ad lib, um, but this is kind of roughly what's going on. So it's kind of arpeggiating this B add nine over F sharp chord. So one, and then open, take your first finger off, open B, then hammer on open B to, to first fret B, then open B again, then first fret B, then hammer on to uh, the um, third fret of the B. And then I think we take those two off and just plays the F sharp five chord. Uh, time wise, one, uh, two, three, and four. And then you've kind of got this um, pull off and hammer on, one, zero, one on the B string. And then picking through the kind of uh, the zero, open E, then two uh, on the D, open G, and then first fret B, and then strum. Then uh, strum on the B, add nine over F sharp, and then open the strings, F sharp. So let's play that. Again, you can feel free to do your own kind of thing. This is normally just to check, check his tuning and just to kind of get himself kind of ready, revved up. So. lib intro section let's now take a look at the verse section so what i'm also going to do is put the song structure up on the screen now so you can kind of break everything down and then um, sort of merge it all together later on so basically the verse section is kind of this two bar riff that's done quite a few times in each in each uh, verse so the first verse it does it eight times second verse four times the third verse eight times fourth verse eight times as well. Third and fourth verse, he kind of does speed it up and slow it down quite a lot and chases the dynamic. So um, sort of look out for that in um, when you're watching the, uh, the Netflix uh, video as well. So um, cool, so this is basically two bar phrase. What you're gonna do is B add nine. Okay, and this is what's gonna go. So quavers or eighth notes, so that's half a beat each. So you've got eight notes per bar. So rhythm wise, it's quite s simple. So you've got this, uh, the B add nine, so middle finger, second fret D, first finger, first fret B. You're gonna go down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. That's how I pick it. So E string, D, G, B, G, D, G, B, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Then gonna, for the se second bar, You've got your little finger, third fret of the uh, B. So that's gonna go A, D, G, B, G, D, and then open B, upstroke, and I do another upstroke on the first fret of the B string. So that's second bar again. A, D, G, B, G, D, open B, first fret B. Uh, strumming wise, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So those two bars together, again, really awesome melody here. Uh, and this is quite a big uh, part of the song. So, first bar. And you want to let the notes ring out for quite a long time as well. Again, get a bit of reverb on there as well. Um, one and two and three and four and one and two. It's a really cool verse section. Again, don't forget all the song structures will be in the description as well. Um, cool, so now I'm gonna go to the, the chorus section. So in the chorus section is what happens, it's the same kind of chords, but he's just being a bit more aggressive with the picking and also adding a few more uh, of the, basically adding the, e, the high E string as well. Um, so what you've got here, you're gonna do E, so this is the B add nine again, and then the F sharp. So same chords for the chorus. So open E, then uh, D string, G, and then he's gonna pick up, up, up. So more like you're picking an arpeggio. Down, up, down, up, 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 on the E, B, and the G strings, and then down on the G, down on the D, sorry, and then up on the G. So one and, one and two and three and four and. So open E, D, G, E, B, G, D, G. Picking wise, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Cool, and then you got the uh, F sharp five chord. Open A, open D, G, then high E, up, and 
and then up on the B as well, which is actually the same note, but it sounds quite cool. Um, so down, up, down, up, up. Again, very sort of steel guitar kind of sound there. And down, stroke on the D, and then up on the open B, and then up on the first fret B. So let's play those two bars. Again, uh, counting wise, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and strumming wise, down, up, down, up, 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 up down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. I just think that sounds really nice. Um, really nice pattern again. So in the first chorus, you do that for four times, second chorus, four, four times, third chorus, four times. So all exactly the same structure there. Cool, so that's the chords, the verse, and the chorus sections. Okay, so let's now take a look at the first break, the middle eight section, and the second break. Okay, so you're gonna start off with this kind of cool C-sharp five chord. Bruce actually plays, plays this uh, second fret low E with his thumb, but probably recommend, if you're not used to that, using your first finger. Okay, so you're gonna do the C-sharp five chord, so that's second fret low E, middle finger, second fret G, third or fourth finger on the third fret of the B string. Uh, again, quavers or eighth notes, because the good thing about this song, um, if you're not used to this kind of picking, at least the rhythms are really simple. It's pretty much just all quavers, one and two and three and four and, or eighth notes. So, low E string, then a B string, then G. Again, you will vary this up from um, each, each of the rounds, but it's pretty close. So, uh, low E string, then B, then G, then take the first finger off, then just kind of strum from the A string. Um, so we play the, kind of the A and the D strings there. Then, then the B, upstroke, G upstroke, then downstroke on the D, and then upstroke on, on the G. You will vary it from the different sections. So timing wise, one and two and three and four and, uh, this is the la, na, 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 na. That bit is uh, what's happening here. So um, C sharp five, F sharp sus two, picking wise, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, and then B at nine, but I'm kind of strumming a little bit more of the bassy strings to start with, the E, A, and the D strings. And then you've got down stroke, and then up, up, down, the E, B, and the G, and then do that again. Okay, so again, picking wise, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Uh, counting wise, one, and two, and three, and four, and course it's a really cool section this I really like it so and you do these two bars twice so let me just go through the first break so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and you do that twice so down up up down up up down up down up up down up up down up, down, up, down, up. sounds really nice then you're into the middle eight section okay so here you're gonna start pretty much the same thing <coughs> with your C-sharp five, but you're gonna do this kind of pattern twice. You're gonna go down, up, up, down, up, up, and then down, up, kind of hitting the, the D and the, the B, uh, G and the B strings there, just to fill out a little bit more. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then you've got the D-sharp minor seven chord, which sounds really nice. Uh, so it's just middle or third fingers on the uh, fourth fret of the E string, low E string. So. Uh, and then you're going to go basically up and down the chord picking. So E string, then D, G, B, G, D, and then the low E, then the upstroke. Sometimes it's kind of here, hard to hear what, exactly what notes he's picking, but I think this is pretty close. So down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And this, so E, D, G, B, G, D, E, G, one and two and three and four. Then you go to the B add nine chord. You're going to go um, E D G B G D E, and then upstroke on the G. And then this next bar is a split bar between. It's basically open A, down up down on the A D and the G strings. This is bar four of the middle eight. And then uh, go back to the C sharp five. You're going to go down up up down up. So it's and three and four and in terms of timing down up up down up that, that bar four of the middle eight is one and two and three and four and cool so i'll just do the those four bars of the middle eight which you're going to do twice okay so c sharp five 
D minus D sharp minus seven, B add nine, then kind of open strings F sharp five, and then C sharp five. It's a really cool pattern here. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, one and two and three and four. section cool then you're into the second break which is just um slightly different to what we for them from the uh, first break so you start off the same the first bar is the same the f uh, c sharp five s sharp sus two down up down down up up down up and b at nine down up down up 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 down up which we had in the third bar of the middle eight down up down up up down up down up and then you do that again. Then it changes it and it goes into this B major seven. So here's the upstroke and the B string here. This is the uh, fourth bar of the second break. Oops. It's an open B string. And then you're basically just going up and down the B major seven chord. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. So E, D, G, B, G, D, E, G. So what I'll do is I'll just play the second break nice and slowly. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, on the open B string, and then down, up, down, up. So it sounds really nice, I think. Some really nice variations there. Um, cool, so now what we're gonna do is go through the second break. So, the second, uh, sorry, the third break. So we've just done the second break. So we've just done the first break, middle eight, and then uh, second break. So now the third break, what we're gonna do is gonna do your normal uh, so first bar of the break section. So down, up, down. Of that bar that we did in the first break, okay, you're gonna just gonna do the normal uh, B add nine chorus bar. So down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, okay. One and two and three and four and so this is the third break. Okay, so the first break you did. The second break you pretty much had this. B major set at the end, and then third break, and then uh, kind of the chorus bar. Okay, and you do that uh, basically four times in the third break. But on the very last time, you're going to do what you did in the end of the second break and go to this open B at the end. So this is the fourth round of the third break. One and two and three and four and then one and And then he's basically doing really quiet kind of picking here. This is kind of just uh, um, to sort of finish off the song. It's really kind of quiet. You've got this kind of picking thing here. So what's happening is he's going, that last note with the B major seven kind of starts the riff. And then doing an upstroke on the G, upstroke on the, the uh, D, and then open E. And then you go to a B, which you put your first finger down, do the same picking pattern. Then add your little finger, which is a B add nine, it's the same picking pan. And then you basically just cycle through those notes. So you start off with a B major seven, B, B add nine, B, B major seven, B, B add nine, B, B major seven, B, B add nine, B, B major seven finish off with the B. So it sounds quite cool. So let me play um, the end of the third break going into the outro section. So it's a really cool outro section. So this is the last round of the third break. Okay, it gets 
kind of quite quiet here. Cool, so that's all the parts. Again, feel free to double check uh, with the song structure and also even with the walkthrough that I play when I play it earlier on in the video, you can even sort of slow it down in the cog icon uh, and play along with a tab. You might find that quite useful as well. So any, any video on your YouTube, you can click on the cog icon and slow down the speed of the video. Uh, I think you should find that useful. Uh, any comments or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications if you haven't already. Um, if you've liked this sort of seeing the tab, like to get hold of the tabs, um, so all these tabs that I make for all these videos, um, they're all done on Guitar Pro, which is a brilliant program, really cheap. Um, and basically, so soon they'll be all be available to get on the shop section of my new up and coming website, jsmusicschool.co.uk. It's not too far from being completed now, which would be great. So all, I think this is the 82nd video I've done. So all 82nd, all 82 uh, guitar profiles, guitar tabs, PDFs uh, will be available soon on the shop. Um, but also, if you want to head, uh, check them out on Subscribestar, you can get a sort of um, file sent to you every month. You can also get access to guitar solo videos that I've done. Uh, if you want extra tab and chord diagrams during the kind of this part of the video, um, you can get access to those as well. So there's lots of extra stuff on uh, subscribespar.com forward slash Bruce Springsteen guitar. So feel free to check that out. Lots of different tiers and benefits there. Cool. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.